Hello, we are Group A, and welcome to our presentation on the Coco Digital Projects 2016. So we're going to go through the contents of the presentation, which begins with the roles and responsibilities that we assigned within the group. Then the project outline of the group, uh, which consisted of the tasks that we had to undergo, the challenges that we faced, we're also going to detail the experience that we gained throughout the project, um, as well as the recommendations and conclusions that we give after having taken on the project. Hello, I'm Maximilian. I am the project leader and my role was to make sure that all of the tasks were carried out effectively and that everyone did their job and that everyone knew what they were doing and when they had to do it by. Yeah. My name is Kia. I was a data manager and I was in charge of compiling and analysing the data that we collected whilst undergoing this project. Hi, I'm James. I was the design manager and it was my role to ensure that all the tasks were done on time. I'm Jess. I was the design manager and I was responsible for making sure that um, the design factors of our project were aesthetically pleasing, especially uh, during our presentation. Hi, I'm Mariana. I was the communication manager of this project and I was responsible for making sure that all the members of our team could communicate properly and I was also taking care of our communication with the French partners. Hi, I'm Osama Amama. I'm the research manager. Uh, I'm responsible of all, all the research we had to do during the project. Uh, Coco is a part of an online international learning project developed by Coventry University. The name Coco stands for Coventry and Colmar, two universities which took part in this project. Um, the idea behind the project is that the group of students in Coventry is matched with a group of unknown people in Colmar University and we all complete tasks together in order to gain new experiences, learn new skills. One of the main aims of the project was gaining intercultural awareness as we were working with students from France who we never met before and we don't know much about their culture. The other way aim was to develop and enhance digital skills of the students working on the project as most of the work was based on online platform and we had to video editing which is not the skill everybody has. The other aim of the project was to develop the ability of the students to work in a group as we've never met each other before and it was challenging to participate in such a project but we overcame these problems. Uh, learning how to make a research was one of the aims as well. And practicing French was the last aim as we all are French students and it helped us a lot in learning the language. We were set three tasks to do with this project. The first of which was a video introduction where we had to make a video of us introducing ourselves and talking about our university and Coventry itself. We also watched the video that the French students made and had to comment on it in Open Moodle. We then had a word association task in our cultural activity. This was where we had to say the first word that came into our head when we were presented with another word, as well as a word sentence completion. The result of this was we were made word clouds with the words that were made due to their popularity and it showed that the cultural differences between both the French students and the English students. The final task was an interview between us and the French students, in which we asked them about their student experience and different Hollywood and French films, and they asked us about our students' experience. The result of this is we were able to compare different students' experiences from both universities as well as asking them about French actors in Hollywood and remakes of French films in Hollywood. In terms of the challenges of our group project, we found that being aware of the group dynamics in our group was very important because we, we had to know who was going to have the loudest voice and so we needed to have everyone's uh, opinions put across. And also um, with the communication with members of the group, we had to make sure that we were all talking on a daily basis um, and we all attended seminars weekly. So we also made a WhatsApp group and a Facebook group so we can communicate quite easily together, make sure we can have our opinions and um, perspectives put across. Also in terms of allocating roles, we found that it was very important um, 
to allocate roles just so that everyone knew what they were doing at a certain time and to avoid, the, to avoid the problem of someone doing more work than someone else, I think it was quite good that we had allocated roles so everyone knew what they were doing and everyone was contributing a fair amount to the project. Also, um, in terms of the language barrier, we found this was quite a challenge that we had to overcome because in terms of speaking to uh, French nationals um, throughout the course of this project, we have to be considerate of uh, their context in certain sentences. So, for example, if we were talking about French cinema, which was quite a specific um, set of vocabulary, we had to know how to speak about it in a way that would make sense to them, um, of course, and especially with idioms, the same that we have in English. If we said something like, it's raining cats and dogs, French people would not understand this at all. And it's that same in French, we have to consider their Id idioms, know whether, if, if something is translatable or feasible in their language. And lastly, we found that the digital difficulties was a challenge um, in terms of this project because we not only had to know the tasks and what we had to do for each preset task, we also had to bear in mind that we needed time to edit the videos, so we had to allocate time for that. And also um, we had to know how each set of programming worked. So our uh, presentation um, looked, uh, our presentation on an introduction video looked uh, professional. There were also a lot of skills and experiences we gained throughout this project in different aspects also, including working in groups, digital skills and overcoming language barriers. Firstly, with working in a group, we gained experience with working with other people, which was uh, especially achieved through group meetings and taking on different roles, some roles which none of us had done before. In terms of digital skills, there are also many aspects where we achieved new experiences. For example, with video, introductory video, where we had to record our footage of ourselves, and also, more challengingly, had to use programs to edit this video also. We also got the chance to use new forms such as Open Moodle and SharePoint in order to help ourselves with the project. Another digital skill we developed was also developing a formal and professional presentation, which many of us had never done before, also. And obviously, as the aim of the project was to improve our language skills, we developed new, a new range of vocabulary and improved language skills in the target language, which was mainly achieved through the interview and introductory video, where we also had to speak in French in a formal manner. One other, one other recommendation is uh, to have tasks uh, which try to develop uh, our, knowledge, our knowledge in French culture uh, as we feel like our learning uh, French, in French culture was limited, particularly uh, the word association and the sentence completion task leading us to feel that a different set of tasks would improve the culture aspects of, uh, of the project for future, future students. We also believe that uh, we would have uh, benefited uh, from being made aware uh, of deadlines, uh, front-end events, especially uh, concerning the introductory video where we were given a deadline same week as we found out uh, about the project. So uh, we would recommend that in future students would be in a better position if they were if they were they made away on task earlier. In conclusion, the COCO project has allowed us to improve our interest in the global community as from um, the projects that we did and the tasks that we did, we're able to learn about the differences between our culture and our French counterparts and we're able to compare our differences and gain a better understanding um, into the French culture. We were also able to improve our digital competencies as we were very heavily involved in um, editing our presentations as well as editing our videos which um, helped many of us to improve or um, further improve um, any editing skills or digital skills that we may have already um, acquired. And lastly, we were able to improve our teamwork skills as working in a team we were able to learn about our different strengths and weaknesses 
and able to use this as an advantage um, in it when carrying out our tasks and assigning different roles to different people who had various strengths and also acknowledging the weaknesses of different team members and providing the necessary assistance to serve the team members.